Hello everybody, Crips here. So, um, spinning an object and turning, uh, moving the object in a circle are two different things. And a few of you are having problems moving the object in a circle. Uh, and what do I mean by this? I mean this here. Moving the object like so. Opposed to just simply having the object spin on the spot. So everybody says, yeah, I know how to spin it, but, uh, oh geez, by crikey, I just can't get it to do this. Hmm, that's understandable. Let, let me see if I can help you out. Let's start a new project. Uh, let's grab the cube. Alright, so right now it does nothing. Alright, um, because you are working in 3D, you're working the Y, Z, and X. I'll go to Y frame, I'll see what I mean. Here's your Y. Here's your, here's your X and your Z you won't see because it's... Uh, well, let's go to camera view. By the way, if you're working in 3D objects, please get familiar with your camera view because you're going to be using this a lot. Alright. So here now we can see the Y. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back into the plain top view. Plain view. How the Y frame mode. Alright. So um, what we need to do since it all comes to this one point here, if we apply a rotation to it, it will rotate around this point. So we need to move this cube away from the center point. Alright, so go to Cube, Highlight Cube, go onto your Move tool, and let's move this away from the center. Alright, let's go into the Z axis. So 100, Enter. Alright, and now what we want to do is put a 360 degree spin on it but we don't do it in the object we do it in the group so highlight group go into orientation go right to the end because you want it to go do a 360 360 enter and now you'll see that the axis point is here and the cube is here press play and now you are moving this in a circle rather than it just spinning on the spot so there you go my friends, it's not that difficult, uh, I'm probably guessing some of you weren't aware that in order to move the object it needs to be in a group when you want it to go into a circle, okay? Alright, uh, now before I go, I'm going to address another issue while I'm here, and I need this, start a new project, cube again. Now some, some of you are getting frustrated just moving the objects in 3D space, and, oh, pardon me. Uh, so what we need to do is find a quicker or an easier way to do this. Now, if you haven't seen another tutorial uh, about moving the objects in 3D space, I'll show you once again. Left mouse button moves it around, up, down, left and right, and whatever way you want. Your right mouse button moves it back and forth. See? All right. Now, um, let's say you want to move it from left to right, but you've got shaky hands, so you're doing this. And you're thinking, oh, there must be something easier. Yes. If you hold down your shift key, and then hold down your left mouse button, and move it left and right, it tracks beautifully in line like so. All right, now here it gets a little bit tricky. Well, not tricky, just confusing. If you want to move it up and down, hold down your shift key, and then release your mouse button, then reapply it, and then move it up and down. Now it'll move up and down perfectly. And if I hold my mouse button down and I try to move it left and right, it won't. It un until I release the mouse button again, I press it down again and then move it left and right, it will then move left and right. But if I hold down the mouse button while and then move the mouse button up and down, it won't move. Okay, I hope you uh, didn't get too confused. All it is is just making sure you release the mouse button and then once you reapply it, move it in, a, in that direction and that's the direction it will move. Uh, otherwise just jump on your your Corral Motion Studio 3D and have a bit of a play but it's just all done with the mouse button and your shift key. And uh, I hope a few of you are no longer frustrated and as always, thanks for watching.